by now you probably learned how to convert your old Motion 4 templates for Motion 5. You can find them in this path. Your main hard drive, library, application support, Final Cut Studio, Motion templates. And here they all are. And there's a lot of nice title templates in here but when you convert them for Motion 5 Final Cut Pro 10 they are generators. Well, this little tip is going to show you how to turn that generator into a title. So I've got one down here that's simple. It's called Text Assembler and I'm going to open it up in Motion. and there it is okay so now I'm going to save this as and I'm just going to put this on my desktop for right now and I'll go over to the finder uh, let's just move that out of the way for a minute let me hide that and here it is on the desktop. And I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to get info and a motion title file has the extension MOTI so I'm just going to change this to MOTI and save it and I'm going to say use MOTI and I'll close this and then I'll double click on this and open it in motion and what I'm going to do is save as if I just save it's going to save to the same file on the desktop but you see now it's asking me to enter the name of a Final Cut Pro title okay great and we have the name up here it's text assembler HD so I'm going to type in the title and I'm going to put it in a category that I named Motion 4 Titles and just publish it. And now I'll go over to Final Cut Pro go into my titles here we have Motion 4 Titles, here is Text Assembler and I'll drag it out here and there we have the title Let's play through that. Okay, there you have it. Um, now, changing the old Motion 4 template into a Motion 5 effect is slightly different. And, well, I'll get to it when I do the next video. Th it, one of the things you can't do with the Motion 4 generator is create the title background placeholder. You just are not going to get it and you don't need it. So just convert the Motion 4 template into the Motion 5 title in this manner. If the title comes with a background you can elect to turn that background on and off and then you can do just regular title kinds of things with the text content and stuff. There's really not that much difference between the generator and the title other than you get the title placeholder. And you don't really need it to convert these old templates into Final Cut Pro 10 templates. I prefer to have my titles categorized in the title section of the inspector. And you might too. So this is one way to do it. Hope this helps. Catch you on the next one.